Water Department. Trusted quality service since 1905. That's right, the City of San Bernardino Water Department has been providing the residents of San Bernardino with high quality services. Safe, clean drinking water and environmentally sound wastewater treatment for over a hundred years. The drinking water provided to our community comes from an underground aquifer known as the Bunker Hill Basin. Unlike many other cities that must import their water from distant locations, the city of San Bernardino gets clean, safe water from this large underground basin. This groundwater basin is replenished by rain, snowmelt, and underground streams. It is naturally protected and of very high quality compared to the standards we are required to meet. We produce all of our own water using 60 wells located in 45 square miles of water service area and we deliver it to more than 40,000 service connections through 550 miles of water mains every minute of every day. As stewards of a valuable water resource and distribution system, the San Bernardino Municipal Water Department is constantly engaged in planning efforts to anticipate the future needs of the city. We are always concerned about how to keep water costs down and how to ensure the quality of our water. Centrally located in downtown San Bernardino, department personnel work closely with other city departments and outside organizations to ensure we are utilizing our customers' resources in the best possible way. Your water department is governed by the Board of Water Commissioners, who are granted the authority and power to establish and collect all water rates, regulate and control the water system for the City of San Bernardino. Customer service, meter services, human resources, finance and administration staff work diligently each day to ensure that the services we are providing to our customers are the very best. Our employees know how important their jobs are and take a great deal of pride in the fact that many of them are residents of San Bernardino, drinking the same water you do every day. As residents of San Bernardino, we are fortunate in that our water supply comes from city-owned wells. These deep wells are naturally protected due to their depth and geologic locations. As a result, our customers enjoy the highest quality in water available. Unfortunately, some contaminants have gotten into our water source from historical activities that have been stopped. Additionally, there are natural occurring contaminants that are difficult and expensive to treat. But don't worry. Water quality is always our greatest concern, and the City of San Bernardino Water Department utilizes the best available technology to remove contaminants from our water supply. Here at our 19th Street Treatment and Production Facility, granular activated carbon is used for the removal of volatile organic contaminants, commonly used in degreasers. We remove every bit of contamination from the water before it goes into our pipelines and to our customers. This process assures the highest level of water quality. Our Water Quality Department control technicians are state certified and conduct year-round sampling and analysis of thousands of water samples throughout our system. This process assures safe drinking water to the public by meeting and exceeding all Department of Health Services and United States Environmental Protection Agency drinking water standards. Your water department uses hydro generation facilities like this one. By taking advantage of gravity and distributing water from higher to lower elevations, we have the ability to produce electricity and sell it to our local utility. This helps us continue to pass cost savings on to our customers. In order to meet our customers' needs, the water system must expand to keep pace with our growing community. The recent completion of the 12 million gallon B. Warren Coke Reservoir will help us achieve just that. The City of San Bernardino Water Department has a responsibility and obligation to provide the necessary services to our community for many years to come. Many projects with growth in mind are currently being engineered and implemented in our city to prepare for our future. The system is complex and it requires committed professional employees determined to do the best job possible. Highly trained and California State certified operators accomplish this by working around the clock 365 days a year. With such a large service area in San Bernardino, state-of-the-art computer equipment is used. Supervisory controlled and data acquisition, also known as SCADA, is a computer system that helps employees track changes throughout the water supply and distribution system and allows for immediate response to any conditions that may arise. Our SCADA system provides detailed monitoring capabilities and a high level of security to our water supply. However, we still believe that people make the biggest difference, and that is why we visit each and every site several times each day. Many of the sites we visit have been carefully constructed to blend in with their surroundings. The San Bernardino Water Department is a good neighbor, and our facilities reflect this concept. 
Pumping stations are disguised in facade homes with manicured, well-maintained lawns. Feedback from surrounding residents has been very positive as these facilities are always well-maintained. The operations distribution and engineering sections are located on North D Street in San Bernardino. From here, crews are dispatched daily throughout the city to maintain our system and its infrastructure. Maintaining such a complex and diverse system requires a multitude of personnel and equipment. We rely on the talents and skills of our employees to make sure that the water we are serving to the community is of the highest quality. The need to rebuild existing infrastructure and plan for future growth is continuous. The new construction of pipelines and production facilities are an ongoing requirement due to a rapidly growing community. Our current service population is approximately 173,000, and this means that up to 80 million gallons of water each day are required to meet the needs of peak demand periods. The average consumer uses more than 250 gallons of water each day. Each home is provided with a water meter that is usually located in your front yard. These meters are continually being tested, maintained, and replaced if necessary to assure accuracy. Each month, your meter is read, and based on the volume used, your monthly bill is determined. Water is used everywhere, from washing your clothes to cleaning your dishes. But what happens to the water after it goes down the drain? We've all wondered what happens when we flush the toilet, and that question becomes very important when you consider that over 28 million gallons of wastewater makes its way to the city of San Bernardino's Margaret Chandler Water Reclamation Plant. After you flush your toilet or wash a dish, the water is discharged into a complex sewer network, basically more underground pipelines, where it is collected and cleaned. Your water department is doing much more than providing high-quality drinking water to its customers. It is playing a vital role in conservation, environmental stewardship, and recycling. Wastewater from San Bernardino, Loma Linda, and Highland travels through pipes to the Margaret H. Chandler Water Reclamation Plant located off E Street in San Bernardino. It is here that the water that you flush goes through a miraculous transformation into an environmental asset. Wastewater goes through three distinct stages of treatment. The first level of treatment is called primary treatment, and at first glance, the water quality is exactly what you would expect. In this stage, mechanical bar screens and aerated grit removal channels are utilized. This treatment process removes all large objects that could cause mechanical problems and also removes inorganic heavy materials such as sand and grit. The remaining materials are sent by conveyor to a process that compresses the matter and removes excess water. This accounts for up to 4.5 cubic yards of waste each week, which is then delivered to a landfill. After passing through primary treatment, the wastewater now is ready for the second level of treatment. Secondary treatment consists of two separate phases. The first phase, which is called the biological phase, is where microorganisms eat through solid matter remaining from the primary treatment stage. The wastewater is transferred to a secondary clarifier where the microorganisms and solids will now settle into the bottom of a tank, similar to the process during primary treatment. The water byproduct of these processes has now been treated as much as possible at this location and will continue to our rapid infiltration and extraction facility for third stage or tertiary treatment. But before we travel down to the tertiary plant, let's follow the solid byproduct and find out where it goes. Those solids that have been removed in the secondary stage go through more treatment. First the solids are thickened, then heated to kill off microorganisms, and eventually dewatered. In other words, as much water is squeezed out of them as possible. The remaining product, which is safe and has very little odor, is trucked to farms and used as a soil amendment to help grow non-edible crops like alfalfa and cotton. The product is called biosolids, and biosolids look and act just like the soil amendments that you buy at your local garden center. Although this disposal method has been used for centuries, regulations in the future will likely prevent land application of biosolids. The Water Department is always looking for ways to save money. So, in addition to finding ways to dispose of biosolids that are cheap and effective, we also use the solids treatment process to generate electricity. As the solids are digesting, methane gas is produced, which can be harnessed and used as a fuel source. We use methane gas to run engines at the water reclamation plant and to produce electricity. It is easy to see, once again, how the San Bernardino Water Department is community-minded and takes an active role in conservation, environmental stewardship, and recycling.
Remember when we finished secondary treatment of the water byproduct? What does that water look like when it leaves the Marvin Chandler water reclamation plant? The water is now 95% cleaner than it was when it initially arrived at the plant. So, unless you look closely, you would not know that it still needs more treatment. But, we told you earlier that the water is then sent on to another treatment plant, the Rapid Infiltration and Extraction Facility, or the RICS facility. The RICS facility receives roughly 26 million gallons of water from the Margaret H. Chandler Water Reclamation Plant in San Bernardino and 6 million gallons of secondary treated wastewater from the city of Colton. The RICS facility is owned by both cities but is located in the city of Colton. At the RICS facility, the water goes through a third and final stage of treatment or tertiary treatment. The secondary treated water is delivered by pipeline from the two cities' plants into large earthen basins. The technology is very, very simple. The water travels through the bottom of the basins, through the soil underlying the basins, and down into the water table. The soil acts as a very effective filter. There is really no difference between Mother Nature's filtering process and the Rick's filtering process. The infiltrated water is then removed from underground using pumps or wells and the water is then sent through an ultraviolet lamp system. The ultraviolet light kills any bacteria or virus that may still be present in the groundwater or infiltrated water. However, we have found through sampling that every trace of bacteria and virus is already gone after moving through the soil. The advantage of using the ultraviolet disinfection system is that the water is free of any chemicals which might compromise the delicate ecosystem of the Santa Ana River. After we disinfect the extracted water with ultraviolet light, we discharge 40 million gallons of water into the Santa Ana River. In fact, there is very little natural flow in the river upstream of the Ricks facility, so you could say that the recycled water from the Ricks facility really is the river. The recycled water that is discharged helps to support a thriving ecosystem, including some threatened species, and augments groundwater basins all the way down to Orange County. The treated water from Ricks is very high quality water. We are required to sample the water we discharge from Ricks, and our sampling demonstrates that every day, rain or shine, we meet and exceed extremely stringent state and federal regulations. Of course, one look at the recycled water that leaves the Ricks facility will convince anyone that what we do is good for the environment. You can see that the City of San Bernardino Water Department takes its role as an environmental steward very seriously. You can always be assured that the men and women who work here are professionals who constantly explore ways to improve water quality, improve service, and improve the environment. We would like to thank all of the employees that have committed themselves to public service to the outstanding efforts and commitment they make which allows the City of San Bernardino Water Department to make a difference in your life every day.